This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is.
desperate for you, Jesus.
So we want lifted voices because he is wonderful. Amen, everybody. Add to two. One, two, all praises be, be to the King of kings and the Lord our God. He is wonderful. Come on again. All praises be to the King. Of kings and the Lord our God, He is wonderful. without the mics, without the mic. Yes, 
the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is wonderful. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. Oh, the Lord our God, He's mighty. Yes, the Lord. Jesus. At this time, Sister Jody and Lottie will be coming to do the prayer for us this morning. Hallelujah. He's a
thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord God, we love you this morning, Jesus. God, we exalt you, Jesus. God, because there is none like you, Jesus. God, you are to be worshipped. God, you are to be praised, mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are the great king. You are the great one. Jesus, you are the Christ, the savior of the world, mighty God. And this morning, Jesus, we magnify your name. We magnify your name, Jesus. Oh God, thank you for being our father. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being our way maker, our doctor, Jesus, our comforter, mighty God. This morning, Jesus, we are grateful for the gift of life, mighty God. So many, mighty God, may not be in their right mind, Jesus, who are sick in the hospital, who are in prison, hallelujah, who are, in, who are bounded by sin. But this morning, we are in your house, mighty God, to give you glory, to give you honor, to give you praise, mighty God, that is due unto you and you only, Jesus. This morning, God, we deserve nothing. We deserve nothing, Jesus. But yet still, God, you're here with us, mighty God. And we are grateful, Jesus. We are grateful, Lord God. And I pray this morning, Jesus, Jesus, that Lord God will open up our cup or we turn our cups up, mighty God, to receive what you have to give us, God. But yet, God, Jesus, I pray that you help us also, God, to worship you in spirit and in truth, mighty God. In truth, mighty God. Not from our mouths, mighty God, but from our hearts, from deep down within us, God. Let us open up our mouths and give you praise. Let the enemy drop dead because this morning we will not bow down to him. Hallelujah. But we are going to give you glory. It doesn't matter if we are few in numbers. Mighty God, you are in the midst to bless us. And I pray, Lord God, that we'll not take it for granted. But God, we'll worship you like today is our last, mighty God. We'll give you everything that we have, mighty God. Because you deserve it, Lord God. And you share your glory with no other God. I pray, Lord God Almighty Jesus, for every person's mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus, who are in the assembly and who are online, mighty God. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you give us the strength. This morning, I pray, oh God, that we come against the spirit of tiredness, the spirit of destruction. Mighty God, that we want to come, mighty God. Hallelujah, to exalt itself. God, the hallelujah, I pray that all spirit will be subjected to your spirit, Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for every aspect of the service this morning. God, I pray for those who are not feeling well. Mighty God, I pray for the shatins. I pray for those who are grieving, mighty God. And I pray for those who need deliverance, who need salvation, mighty God. And all these things coming from you, all of our help, God comes from you Jesus hallelujah and I pray Lord God almighty Jesus that we will not leave the same way we came mighty God God we are believing you for something extraordinary because you are God and you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above everything that we could ever ask or think so great God help us not to put limits on you this morning but to expect the unexpected God I pray Lord God Almighty Jesus that you touch every person go through every row in this congregation mighty God I pray for the band members God that they will continue to play on the anointing Jesus I pray for singers God that will open up our mouths and to sing with the anointing that you have given unto us God I pray for the one that will bring the word if you so desire God 
I pray, Lord God Almighty, for the moderator, God, that she will lead, mighty God, under your instruction, God. And I pray, Lord God Almighty, that anything that wants to hinder our praise in this morning, I pray that you'll dismiss it now, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, we are doing something now. And we are praising you, Lord God. We are sending you thanks in advance. Mighty God, help us to have faith. Help us to have faith. We may not see it. But God, we know that you are real. You are real, Jesus. And all things are possible with you, mighty God. I pray, Lord God, that we'll humble ourselves this morning. I pray for a spirit of togetherness. That we'll worship you, mighty God. Individually, mighty God. And collectively, Jesus. I pray, Lord God Almighty, Jesus. That, Lord God Almighty, everything will be done according to your will. And not according to our program and our outlines and what we want and what we think. Mighty God, nothing else matter. Jesus, but you, mighty God, have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, mighty God. And we come against the spirit of spectating this morning. We come against the spirit of spectating this morning. I pray, Lord God Almighty Jesus, that you give us fresh anointing, God. Fresh anointing, Jesus. Hallelujah. We need a brand new touch. We need a brand new touch, Jesus. And we know in whom we serve that you are able, Lord God. And he said, Lord God, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done, Jesus. Let your will be done, Jesus. Let your perfect will be done. Hallelujah. Let your will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, God. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Your word is to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. This morning, we're alive and we're well this morning. Yes. Praise the Lord. We are in the presence of the Lord this morning. Praise the Lord, Jesus. And as our team said, it is reaping time. Shout unto God with the word of triumph. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Anybody want, want to give a shout this morning? That is not everybody. Everybody, as our team said. Praise the Lord. It's reaping time. Shout unto God. Shout unto God. What the Bible says. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm inviting the Contrail Williams. He will be coming to read the scripture for us this morning. And we'll be taken from Psalms 81. Praise the Lord. Can we all stand for the reading of the word? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Faskins. Praise the Lord. Psalms 81. Once you find it, just shout a hallelujah praise. Praise the Lord. I'm taking it that everybody find it now, right? Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to read it together. After 3, 1, Psalms 81, together. After 3, 1, 2, 3. Sing unto the, our strength. 
Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timber and pleasant harp with psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statue for Israel and the law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard a language that I understood not. I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pots. Thou callest in trouble, and I deliver thee. And answer thee in the secret place of thunder. I prove thee at the waters of Meribah. And I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me, there shall no strange God be in thee, neither shall thou worship any strange God. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel so I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walk in their own counsel. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should their enemies, and turn my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should have fed them also. Praise the Lord like honey from the rock. Can we give the Lord a hallelujah praise? Thank you, Deacon Troy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, can you turn your Pentecostal hymnal to hymn 153. Praise the Lord, glory to God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, thank you Jesus. We are and never, never weary of the grand old song glory to god hallelujah we can sing it loud as ever with our heart it's wrong glory to god hallelujah all the children of the lord have a right to shout and sing for the way is going bright, and our souls are on the way. We are going by and by to the palace of the King. Glory to God, Hallelujah. We are lost amid the ransom of the deep.
Norita Foskins, praise the Lord. I want to greet all our deacons, all our ministers, praise the Lord, our musicians, 
singers, all the brethren that are here this morning and our visitors. Praise the Lord. And of course, I just want to welcome everyone to Pentecostal Lighthouse to our Sunday morning service this very day. Praise the Lord. God has been good to us. We have come this far by the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And so I just want to welcome all our visitors. We want to thank you all for coming to Pentecostal Lighthouse service this morning. We're here because God has been good to us. So I want you to turn to the person beside you. Give a nice Pentecostal Lighthouse smile. Yes, Sister, Sister Cassandra can show us, right? Yeah, yes, Sister Susie, a seat, man. Yes, praise the Lord. <laughs> Just turn to the person, give them a nice smile and say, welcome. welcome. Praise the Lord, welcome. welcome. Praise God, praise God. So once again, welcome visitors, saints, those who are joining us online, welcome God bless you in the name of Jesus as we worship him together. God bless you. I came to praise the Lord. 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 I don't know what you came to do. I'm inviting Sister Zoe Thomas, and she'll be coming to do the announcement. Praise the Lord, everybody. Did you come to praise the Lord? Did you come to praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Isn't God just great? Isn't he just wonderful? Can we just stand up a moment? I know it's the announcement, but can we just stand up a moment and just give the Lord some praise? Can we just lift up a hallelujah? In the sanctuary, praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Thank you, brethren. Praise the Lord. I'm going to behave myself and do what I was called to do. The announcements. Praise the Lord Jesus. So, we're going to be continuing later this evening at 5.30 p.m. with prayer meeting. Praise the Lord. On Tuesday at 6.30 p.m., we'll be having our WhatsApp prayer meeting. And on Wednesday at 9 a.m., we'll be having our midday weekly prayer and fasting service. At 7, we will reconvene in the sanctuary for prayer meeting and Bible study. Next week, Sunday, we invite you to listen to Rally Dividing the Word on Fame 95 FM. Or you may visit www.fame95fm.com. Prayer meeting in the sanctuary at 7 a.m. on Eight and at eight, we will begin our Sunday school sessions. At nine fifteen, we have our worship service, and we are coming back in the sanctuary later that evening for Sunday night service. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes. So our upcoming event. Praise the Lord Jesus. So our announcements continued. We encourage you always to follow our YouTube page, and our YouTube URL is www youtube slash c slash pentecostal lighthouse upcj dash acts 2 dash 38 we encourage you always to be vessels visit our pentecostal lighthouse page 
subscribe, like, and share the content. So yes, we encourage you always to make donations toward the construction of the sanctuary at King Street. Donations should be made to separate from your regular tithes and offering envelope and should be labeled King Street Project. Checks, if they're being made, should be made payable to Pentecostal Lighthouse. And for direct transfers, you can speak to any one of our ministers for our banking information. You may contact us by sending an email to pentelightupc at gmail.com or by phone or WhatsApp at 876-781-9606. If you're interested in being a part of our services or you'd like to speak to a minister to arrange for personal Bible study, baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus, baby dedication, counseling, marriages, and funerals. And brethren, just before I go, I know we don't have personal Bible study. I know you sometimes you might be witnessing and stuff if you don't understand what, why we have personal Bible study. And you feel like it's outside of your purview, your range. You're talking to somebody at work, at school, and you feel like you're not reaching them, but they're interested. You can just give their names over to one of our ministers or our minister, Verona Dennis, and they will, you know, follow up with that person and really try to reach them where you may not be able to. So if you know anyone that would be interested, just follow up with some personal Bible study. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. And we hope you have a rich service in Jesus' name. Now we are going to a time of testimony, and I'm asking Sister Erica Hamilton and Deacon Jason Thompson. They will be testifying. Praise the Lord Jesus. Someday, someday, I'll go where Jesus is. Someday.
Praise the Lord. At this time, the praise team will be coming to minister in song. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. You know, um, reflecting to next, last week when it was almost the same way testimonies, you know, that you know you, we were called into this marvelous light. We were called over in this, you know, on this side to get some of the good things from Jesus and you know, for some of us like myself, a lot of people I kind of say, you know, I'm going to give him six weeks or three months, I don't know People have testified about it and say, yeah, man, I'm going to church now, but I guess give me a little two months, a little three months. But you know, God has been so good to us that some of us, when the six months pass, we're still going strong. Six years, 15 years, 20 years. And we can look back and say, you know, I was like that. And I was like the prodigal son. I even worse than the prodigal son. But God, you know, God can look at some thing. Sometimes we even say, not even someone sitting like me. <laughs> I see me in good. You know. So today, this song is is dedicated to all of well everyone here, whether they gave your time to come out or. You're still traveling along. This is just to encourage you along the way. Amen, everybody. <laughs> when I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. Go back anymore. Looking back over my life, and I see how far God's brought me, so I never go back anymore. discouraged along the way but he's been faithful so I'll never go back anymore when I remember remember what the Lord has done I will never go back anymore Remember what the Lord 
never going back. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time, can we all stand to our feet as I introduce our speaker this morning to share what the Lord has laid on his heart to us this morning. I'm inviting Minister Manning and the Holy Ghost as he come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's a bold proclamation, Sister Ling. And I just believe that we should ask Minister Dixon to come. We're going to pray for you. Come. Because when you make a bold proclamation like that, the enemy has a vested interest. In proving you wrong. Because if you can prove you wrong, it'll break the confidence of everyone else. So, we don't know what it was like, but we don't want you to go back. So, we're going to invite Sister Dixon just pray for you at this time. And I would like all the others who sang with you, Sister Jody, Sister Gabby, Brother Daniel, come, Sister Zoe, you come too. You're part of the old fogies like me look back in the day and when our knees can't hold us up for a full Pentecostal service and we can sit and church still goes on. Sister Dixon. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We know that there is none like you, none to be compared to you, mighty God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful salvation. If it had not been for you, your grace and your mercy, mighty God, your blood that flowed on Calvary's cross. And so when you extended salvation to us, Lord God, from the depths of our heart with conviction lord jesus we took heed to your words and we answered to your call mighty god and so we thank you this morning jesus that you have witnesses persons who can stand to testify even in song to testify in words of your redeeming blood of what you have done for them lord jesus what this praise team just ministered lord god is basically the testimonies that have been uttered in words lord jesus from your two servants sister erica and deacon jason thompson and so lord jesus we know, Lord God, that everything that you do is line upon line and precept upon precept. Lord God, you knew that you would have placed this song, oh Lord Jesus, on the hearts of the music ministry that the singers and the musicians would have played it, Lord God. It was nothing planned. They didn't know, oh God, that your, the testimony of your witnesses would line up with that song, Lord God. And I thank you for who you are, the great God of heaven. Lord Jesus, I pray that you touch every individual. Lord God, I know that the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And when we stand and proclaim your goodness, when we stand and proclaim your words, when we testify to the world about you and what we have done, mighty God, the devil is there with his angels, Lord Jesus, the demons, Lord God, and they are preparing, Lord God, with their traps to trap your children so that whatever they have said, whatever they have sung, Lord God, Oh God, that they'll go back on their words. But Jesus, we know that you are not just a redeemer. But you are able to keep. You are able to save mighty God. You are able to keep your people. We place them even right now. We see how this world is running, Lord Jesus. I pray that they will not be confused about what they stand for. I pray that when the enemy come in like a flood, that you will lift up a standard. God, there's no if and but about it. We know that all victory lies in you, Jesus. So I pray that you cover them under your blood. 
Keep them from the hands of the enemy. And give them the strength that they need to go from day to day. To continue to make this proclamation. That they will never go back. And so we thank you for being a great God. We know that you are the all-powerful God. The all-knowing God. A God who is able to do any and everything. And so we're not seeking any help. We will look to the hills from when come to our help. We know, mighty God, that our strength lies in you. We know that our power lies in you. And so we are looking to no one but you, Jesus. Bless even right now. As we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. While you remain standing, I'm going to ask you to turn your Bibles to Psalm 91. And we're going to read the first four verses. In fact, let's just read the first two. And I'll... Psalm 91. Says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Lord Jesus, you have laid upon the heart of your servant this word. That you desire that he bring to your people. Be the power, be the strength. And receive the glory right now. As we edify each other and we build up each other in Christ Jesus. Let your will be done and let all who hear come to understand that in Jesus and in Jesus alone is strength, is salvation, indeed is life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. I heard Sister Dixon praying about how God just moves at one part of his body without communication externally from the other part. And you know, I woke up yesterday morning. I'll be honest with you folks, I must confess, I don't remember the dream. But I woke up knowing that I had to pray for the saints. And it was not just it, it's just praying with concern that even during the day I kept saying, Lord, I don't remember what it was, but I prayed for them. And some weeks ago, I remember the moderator came on under attack. And I remember at one point she said, I can't breathe. And then it came back to me that another speaker came on under attack. And there was a period of about five and a half minutes where he couldn't speak. And I start to think, what do we need to do in these times to protect ourselves? And the thought came to me, who's got our back when we are under attack? And it was not, I'm probably about 5.36, just about in the morning, I saw a WhatsApp come that I'm supposed to speak this morning. And so I said, Lord, if I'm supposed to talk to your people, lead me. And he gave me this psalm, Psalm 91. Psalm 91 is what I have always called a, a panacea psalm. A panacea is a drug that cures everything. They don't really exist, but of course, if you're in marketing, you try to convince people otherwise. But in Psalm 91, and it was when I started to look at it again, he said, it grabbed me that in all of the psalm, God only requires two things of us. The rest of the psalm are all promises. And I said, if we are going to be protected, maybe this is what we need. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High 
I will say of the Lord. And God is saying to us, we must live it and we must speak it. We must live it and we must speak it. Amen. I said at the start of the current series of Bible study, we are studying the art of war. That every moment of every day and every step of our way, every child of God is under attack. War for Satan is a 24-7, 365 and a quarter endeavor. He doesn't leave out even that quarter that we sometimes ignore. But for us, we come on a Sunday morning, and depending on who the preacher is and who the moderator is, it may run anywhere from one and a half hours to about three and a half hours. Add to that Sunday school, prayer meeting poorly supported, sticky in Bible study equally poorly supported, and the occasional prayer meeting, otherwise an online prayer meeting. We fight in spirits against an enemy that's continuously at war. And we wonder why so often we feel pressured. Because as Sister Zoe said in a message some time back, ground is being taken and lost at all times. It's just a matter of who's taking and who's losing. Because if we are yielding ground, the enemy is not going to stop at that mark and say, okay, let me leave that part. Every step back we take, he takes a step forward. But the Bible has assured us that every step we take forward, he takes a step back. The Bible said, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And so God is saying to us, as long as as we endeavor to do two things endeavor to live for him and endeavor to speak of him the rest is his job praise the name of Jesus and so as we look in this psalm I see nine things that God promises to his people and each one requires us doing the same two things. Live for him and speak of him. When we go to the workplace, live for him and speak of him. When we go to school, live for him and speak of him. At home, on the bus, on the road, in the supermarket, wherever we go. All we are required to do for Jesus is to live for him and to speak of him. Praise the name of Jesus. If we live for him and speak of him, hear what he said. He says, surely... He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. The traps that the enemy sets for us that we don't know are there. The, the darts that the enemy is firing at us that we don't know are coming. The evil wishes and desires that the enemy plans for us that we don't know is approaching will be be destroyed as long as we live for Jesus and speak of him. The Bible says make mention that his name is exalted but he said if we live for him we will put to shame even those who speak evil of us. All a child of God need to do. At every point you're going, remember that we represent the majesty of the king and we must live majestic life before an ungodly world. We must speak the words of life in the midst of a dead world. 
He promises us deliverance. Amen. Even from the threats that we don't know. Because the, the Bible says, in vain is the snare set in the midst of the bird. So when the fowler sets his snare, he doesn't call the birds and say, come here birds. I'm going to set a trap here. Come into it. He goes to places I'm come the country and I used to set them. Where you know birds normally go. And you put baits in it that you know birds normally like. But there's one intention. To ensnare that one. But the Bible says if we live for him and speak of him. He will deliver us. He not only promises us deliverance, he promises us protection. He said, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. His truth. His truth. Not the Bible school degree. Not a doctorate in theology. Not eloquence and education. Just be prepared to speak his truth to us. There is but one God. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. Jesus died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And when he ascended, ascended. Praise God. He ascended above all things. Leaving captive principalities and powers. He sits on the throne of heaven. And he's coming again in glory. His truth. So why you can't drink a one liquor brother Matthew? Because his truth says. Wine is a mocker and strong drink is raging. And whosoever the savior of is not wide. His truth. Many a times we are ashamed to live and stand up for Jesus. Because we are unwilling to proclaim his truth. We... When people laugh at us and sneer at us and say, you Christians, don't say, boy, I don't believe. Say, his word says his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Then he gives us peace. Thou shalt not be afraid. Thou shalt not be afraid. You can add anything you want to that. Thou shall not be afraid. Thou shall not be afraid. You know, I did a Bible study on this shortly after COVID started. And when I was studying it, something struck me. The part that kind of jumped out was terror by night. Thou shall not be afraid of the terror by night. And when I Start to inquire of the Holy Ghost. He asks me, what's a terror? A terror is not a thing, you know. A terror is a state of mind. Terror don't come from the sky. It don't grow in the ground. Don't make it in factories. Terror is a state of mind. So what is a terror by night? It's a thing that bothers you. When no one else is around to comfort you. It's the thing that causes you to go to bed. And when you wake up, you're more tired than when you lay down. Because you spend all the night fretting. You can't put a name to it. Terror doesn't look like anything. Terror is not tall or big or fat or short or long or hot or cold. Terror is just in your mind. Something is wrong and I'm afraid. But he said, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night. And if you can control this, the Bible says we must be transformed by the renewing of our mind. 
once this is transformed, everything else will become less terrifying because we are going to see that we are standing under the power and leadership and protection of a God who is willing to step out and defend us. How many times has he said to Israel, ye shall have no need to fight, but ye shall hold your peace, and the Lord himself will fight for you. But you, we must be prepared to live Jesus and speak Jesus. He promises us security. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand. I think I've told you folks it's about one night I drove home. And as I drove in, I saw a group of men up the road for me in the dark. And because that was how we were held up the last time, I quickly drove in. Tried to close the garage door. It wouldn't close. Tried again and it started to close. So I... You know, it takes a time to close. To finally close and I'm. So I went to the side of the garage and I'm watching them. And they walk down the road. And when I finish and the tank got and turn around, the other garage was wide open. <laughs> because in my rush, I pressed the wrong button the first time to open the other side. <laughs> so while I was thinking that I'm safe because this door is closed, the one behind me was wide open. But a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. We don't care what's on the news. It shall not come nigh thee. I don't care what they have on social media. It shall not come nigh thee. Let me tell you, beloved, young, old, and middle-aged, if we are living for Jesus and speaking Jesus in all our conversation, we are going to find that the enemy walk wide of you. Has thou considered my servant Job? Yes, I have, but you have set a hedge around him. So he said, all right, just give me a little break with him and watch me. I'm going to do it. And when he got a little break, the Bible says, when Job heard this, he fell down. Worshipped. Talk about a slap in the face. Talk about you've done the worst you can do. And all it does is make the man closer to his God. Because it was, not a, it, it was not a tradition or a Sunday morning thing. If I got Job to worship God, it was a way of life. When something becomes a way of life, I am called upon from time to time to do presentation in secular, um, in secular environment. And I will make a point, you know, when I say afterward, amen. I'm just so used to saying Amen. And so, after you clean the surface, you need to apply a coat of primer and give it four hours to dry. Amen? Amen. It's just natural. It's just natural. And so, sometimes when I catch myself, I say to the folks, when you invite a preacher, you're going to get a lot of church. He promises us assurance. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge. Even the most high thy habitation, they shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. What kind of evil? No. Big evil, no evil. Little evil, no evil. That's what happens. Saints of God. And that is why we must not become terrified of what the world is pushing in the schools because we have the panacea that we can give to our children. Teach them to live Jesus. Teach them to speak. 
speak Jesus and it does matter what's in the textbook they will not be influenced we can spend so much time being afraid of what's in social media and what's on the television and what's on the radio and what's in the buses that we lose sight of the fact. When you're flying sometimes you're sticking earplugs. And it doesn't matter what the atmosphere does. That popping you get in your ears doesn't happen. So if you have an ear infection, just sticking a couple of earplugs and sticking a chewing gum, and you're fine. We have to let our children know, but first we have to know that there is a help in God. We cannot give the impression to the young ones coming up that the world is so evil that we are all doomed. Because as long as the Lord tarries, we are going to have Pentecostal apostolic people having Pentecostal apostolic children. And if we think that the power of God stops at our generation. We are literally condemning them. I know Joshua goes to an all boys school. And he's going to go through as Matthew did. He's going to do well as Matthew did. And he's going to come out with a desire for women. Is not going to change his godly view and how sexuality is to be exercised. If he chooses not to marry, that's his call. But the world will not turn them into homosexual because they're going to live for Jesus and speak Jesus. A teacher stopped me at our lady at the angel school one day and asked me what was Chris John's middle name because she couldn't pronounce it. So I said, Scott. She said, no, but that's what he says. So she called him. He was, I think, in either kinder one or a program. He said, what's your name? He said, Christopher John a boy. Because we knew before the year before they had to pull a book out of the school because they were introducing the so-called normal family to include two men and a baby. So we taught him you are Christopher John a boy. You are Christopher John a boy. Anybody asks you you are Christopher John a boy. Beloved, darkness may cover the land, but we are the children of light. We should not fear darkness because everywhere light goes, darkness flees. That's why we can say with confidence, I will never go back because I have tasted of the goodness of Christ and I know that is better than the thing I used to have in the world. I'm satisfied. Yeah. 
So he gives us assurance. Then he gives us direction. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. In their hands they shall bear thee up lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. He didn't say there won't be stones. A song we sing, another road with rocks to hurt my feet. But with Jesus to walk along beside me, I will make it. There'll be no retreat. And all God asks us, live Jesus, speak Jesus. The unknown things, the unseen, unseen things that the enemy is devising will have absolutely no effect on a Christian life that lives Jesus and speaks Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. He shall give thee victory. Thou shall tread. And I want you to understand now. All of these is thou shall, he shall. In other words, we are not, it's not an if and but a debate, you know. Once you do what's required in the first two verses, everything else falls under that. Thou shall tread upon the lion and the adder. Let me pause here. They say the lion is called the king of the jungle. It's the most feared animal in the animal in the beast kingdom. It is said that when a lion roars, the only answer he can get is from a stronger lion. So the lion is the epitome of the word power. The Adam. It's a snake. Hides under the leaves. And strikes you when you are not looking. So that is the deceptiveness of world devices. But God says, if we live Jesus and speak Jesus, we are going to trample upon the heights of world power and be overcomers over the deceptiveness of world plans. And not only that, he said the young lions. So you're not only going to get them when they're big, you're going to kill them before they're born. The young lion and dragon. But for that to happen, we have to live Jesus and speak Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. promises us honor. I will set him on high. Let me tell you something, folks. I don't care how ungodly they are. They recognize godliness. I, I take it almost as given now that if I go in a meeting, I'm going to be asked to pray. Yet there are others inside there. There are persons inside there who are elders in their churches. Who are deacons. There are persons inside there. Who are under pastors. But. They recognize. Your brother Jason said it also. They recognize godliness. When your life is lived for Jesus. And your speech is seasoned with Jesus. It will not be long. Because God is going to. Heap so much success and progress through you that they are going to recognize that this one is different. Amen. I don't care how many slaves Potiphar had in his house. Something about Joseph was different. I don't care how many prisoners Pharaoh had in his prison. Something about Joseph was different. 
I don't care how many Hebrew boys and how many lads that uh, Nebuchadnezzar had before him. Something about Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stood out. Daniel was not the only young man when Darius became king. But something about him stood out. David was not the only person in Saul's court. But something about him stood out. Stephen was not the only young man preaching to the Sanhedrin. But something about him stood out. Peter and John were not the only two preachers. But when they went to the council, the Bible said they took note that they had been with Jesus. Honor will be ours as long as we continue to live Jesus and speak Jesus. I tell you, if somebody comes to me and says, Mr. Manning, you know with God is in the new contract, praise the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. You know, so and so want to buy an extra, extra amount of pain, bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. I give no glory to myself. Nor do I give glory to others. I thank you for working hard, but it's Jesus. I think I may have told you this maybe a dozen times, but I'll tell you again. I remember one month, about a day or two before the end of the month, we were way down in sales. I mean, way down. It, co it, it couldn't come back. And I called my team together. And I said, we're going to pray. Because they said, Mr. Manning, where are you going? They said, boy, we're going to pray. And we prayed. And when we finished, I said, listen, now go out there. Turn over every stone, but watch off his carpet. And shake every tree, but don't broke off any. A little later, one of them called me. Mr. Man in prayer works. Some quotation that we had done months before and forgotten about. People call me, can I still get the prize here? Yeah? We don't still have this thing here. Yeah? We not only made budget that month, we lick it for six. I will set him on high because he had known my name. I will deliver him and I will honor him. Because God knows that when I give to you, my name is going to be glorified. So it promises us deliverance, protection, peace, security, assurance. Direction, victory, honor. And when it's all done, and you think you've gotten enough, it promises us eternal life. With long life, will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Don't leave out the last part. I know the long life part sound good. Show him my salvation. You don't want to go back? He's going to show you his salvation. And if you read scripture, I can't go into it now. He's not showing about your salvation here. He's talking about when we get there. You are going to stand before Jesus in the fullness of his salvation. Because you stood up for him down here. Another close, folks. Don't believe I am unconcerned about what's going on. Don't for one second believe that. I sent something in a group last night. This young lady won the U.S. Open and decided to pray. And social media spent many gigawatts, gigabytes of data trying to prove that she was not praying. And I think I, I sent one some time ago. This lady was the valedictorian. And she mentioned Jesus. And so the message is being sent. 
All the kingdoms of the world are mine. And to whom say, well, I'll give it. And I'll give it to you. But when you get it, you must fall down and worship me now. When you get it, glorify Jesus. Because as much as he's saying all the kingdoms are mine, I have it on good authority that God says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. I may manage a department, but somebody else owns the company. I may manage a division, but somebody else owns the company. And at the end of the day, it's not what I say, but what he says. So success will come. But I'm beseeching you. You do well at Pep, remember Jesus. You do well at C Second Cape, remember Jesus. You do well at university, remember Jesus. You excel in your job, remember Jesus. You get a promotion, remember Jesus. Made a request of my company about almost a year ago. And um, Friday evening, my GM called me and said, um, I have good news and I have bad news. He said, well, your request has come up for consideration, but it will not be to the extent that you had asked for. So I said, where's the bad news? Where's the bad news? If you're giving me what I never had before, what's the bad about that? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Same thing, I don't want to hear how much thank you, Jesus. Where is it? As long as it's more than zero, it's more. God, through Moses, told the children of Israel, when you go into the land, beware. And I, it struck me the, maybe about two months back, it finally struck me. He said, beware, lest when thou art eaten and are full, thou forget God. I've read it before, I never saw it. God cautions us. So he has all these nine promises. But he said, beware, beware when thou art eaten and are full. Full. So we're not talking about hungry belly people grumbling now. We're not talking about broke people are complaining now. We're not talking about thirsty people crying now. We're talking about people who have eaten and are full. And God said, Beware, lest thou forget God. You know the easiest way to not do that? Start from now. Live Jesus. Speak Jesus. Let it become so much a part of you that whatsoever comes your way, whether you are empty or you are full, whether you are exalted or you are cast down, whether you are healthy or you are sick, whether you are living and when you die, live Jesus, speak Jesus, and let God do the rest. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If you are here this morning without the Holy Ghost, you can come to the altar. The Lord can fill you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. 
if you are here this morning and you are not at, you are not at the place that you are supposed to be, you can come to the altar. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Come just as you are. Hear the Spirit call. Come just as you
Forgive them of their sins, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, help them, Lord God, to leave their burdens here this morning. Oh, God, whatever problem, whatever issues they have, oh, God, I pray, God, that they will leave it right here this morning. Oh, God, there is healing in your name. There is power in your name. Jesus, help them to just call upon your name. Help them to open their mouth, oh God, and cry out to you, Jesus. From whence come in their help, mighty God. Jesus, help them to look full in your wonderful face. And the things of this world will go strangely to him. Oh Lord, help them to just reach out and touch you. Oh God, touch them individually and collectively this right now, Jesus. Oh God, Jesus, you are here. Your presence are here, Jesus. Oh God, you are here to save them, Jesus. Oh, God, help them to reach out to you right now, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy one life, so soon it will pass. Only one chance. Jesus. 
thank you, Jesus. When you recall, you had only one life, Jesus. So give to Jesus all your days. It's the only life that pays when you recall, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus in my life makes all the difference, Jesus in my life has Jesus can make a difference in our lives this morning. Jesus, hallelujah, when it seems like all hope is gone and there's no need to carry on. Hallelujah. Praise God. At times we feel like we can't carry on. But Jesus, but Jesus makes the difference. altar here this morning Lord hallelujah help them to reach out to you right now Jesus hallelujah Jesus thank you Lord hallelujah Jesus thank you Jesus you make a difference in our lives Jesus hallelujah Jesus ah Jesus Oh, God, Jesus, send down your anointing upon us right now, Jesus. Pour to your spirit upon them this morning, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I wasn't like this, oh, hallelujah, but Jesus makes a difference in my life. I come to the altar and I receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, repent of my sins. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the blood, Lord. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to invite Minister Dixon just to come and just pray for those who are at the altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to invite Sister Gabriel just to come and just pray for those who are at the altar. a good God you're so worthy to be praised even now as we stand in your presence Jesus I pray oh God that you may have your way that you may touch each and every one of us oh God that we may offer our needs oh God at your throne Jesus that we may come with a humble heart to receive whatever it is oh God that you want to give us the Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you may touch all those, O oh God, with needs, O oh God. All those who need you, Jesus, O oh God, I pray, O oh God, that we may reach out to you, O oh God, that we may offer praise. O oh God, that we may give you everything, O oh God, that you deserve, for you are glorious. You are king, O oh God, and there is none like you, Jesus. You are to be exalted, Jesus, for there is none like you, God. Oh God, we are your people, Jesus. We are your servants, oh God, here to do your work. Oh God, I pray, Jesus, that you may have your way, Jesus, that you may touch a soul, Jesus, that we may avail ourselves, oh God, to be used by you, Jesus. Oh God, we give you praise, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor, Jesus, for you are worthy of it all. Oh Lord, I pray Jesus that you may have your way, that we may be blessed, oh God, that you, oh God, may feel, oh God, the sweetness of the praise, Jesus, that we may not just come, oh God, because it's what we do every Sunday, but we may come with a heart, oh God, for souls to be saved, with expectancy, oh God, not waiting for the altar service to be over, Jesus, but expecting for you to do something because there's never enough we can never get enough of you jesus we can never ever have enough of your presence jesus you are able to move every sunday jesus you're able to do it all so we give you praise for who you are for what you have done for what you are going to do oh god we bless your name jesus for you are king and you are Lord, and we magnify you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Um, I'm going to ask Sister Cassandra just to pray for us. Dominion and power, mighty God. You are the God that said that there be and there was. You are Lord Jesus so amazing you are our everything mighty god we just want to thank you for your words mighty god lord jesus that you have given unto us this morning mighty god i pray lord god for your servant that you have used mighty god i pray lord jesus that lord you will anoint him continuously from the crown of his head to the very sole of his seat mighty god Lord, I pray, dear God, that whatsoever he does, Lord Jesus, will give you glory. Mighty God, I pray for his entire family, mighty God, that they will, Lord Jesus, Lord God, continue, Lord Jesus, oh God, in your 
true mighty God. Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone that has taken part in the service. Cover them, mighty God. Under your blood, cover all of us. Lord Jesus, cover those, even those, Lord God, who will be watching, mighty God. Lord Jesus, oh God, on YouTube, mighty God. Lord Jesus, there is nothing too hard for you to do. And so, mighty God, I pray that you will even fill someone, dear Father, even now, mighty God. Lord Jesus, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that Lord God you will go with us as we go mighty God go before us mighty God because you are omnipresent mighty God you are everywhere mighty God while you are with us Lord God you will be in front of us and you'll be behind us you'll be beside us mighty God you are big mighty God you are powerful and there's nothing that you cannot do and so, Lord Jesus, we thank you for everything. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Can we all say in Jesus' name? Praise the Lord as we raise our right hand. Praise the Lord. I'll be repeating Numbers 1, verse 24 to 26. Praise the Lord. And it goes thus. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.